What's going on everybody? It's Kalen Moss, the Minute Admin here. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about the Marketing Cloud Administrator Pacing Guide. So this is a step-by-step -step checklist of everything you need to study when it comes to the Marketing Cloud Administrator Certification. So let's just look at the Marketing Cloud Administrator Certification here on Trailhead. Right here, what we're gonna see is we're going to see digital marketing proficiency all the way down to maintenance. So we have digital marketing proficiency, subscriber data management, setup, channel management, and maintenance. Now, each one of these sections on the Marketing Cloud Administrator Cert equals up to 100%. So these are the things you're gonna be tested on. So if you click into the section, you'll see bullet points under each section, and that's actually gonna be what you're gonna be tested on. So if you just open these up, you'll see everything you need to study for. Now, as we go through these and you see these bullet points, the question becomes, how do you study for these things if you don't know what to study or you're new to Marketing Cloud? Well, that's where the pacing guide comes in. So as you can see here for the digital marketing proficiency, 13% of the exam, uh, what you see here is you will see digital marketing proficiency. So you'll see described governance and compliance in relation to digital marketing. And if you look at that, you'll see that this is the section under digital marketing proficiency, described governance and compliance in relation to digital marketing. Underneath these boxes, you'll see the exact topics you need to go and study specific to that bullet point. So specific to this bullet point right here, you will see the exact modules or the exact lesson you need to go and study. So all you have to do is actually just click on this and it'll take you directly to where you need to go so you don't have to go and search for it. So that's with everything here. If you just click on it and open it up, it'll take you to there and it takes you directly to the link. And it also, on, the, on this pacing guide, tells you how long it's gonna take or how long it should take for you to read or go through that entire um, specific subject or topic. As you can see here, we have um, the topic and we have the time to complete that topic, the type of lesson that it is, and the status, whether or not you've started it, you're in progress, you're complete, or you're stuck. So. What you want to really understand is that once you go through each one of these specific topics, you want to give yourself a rating. How ready do you feel for this specific bullet point on the exam? So you're going to give yourself a percentage from 0 to 100. How ready do you feel on a scale of 0 to 100? How ready do you feel for that specific bullet point right there? Now, as you go through and you do this for, let's say, you give yourself a 75%, you'll see that down here, this rating, the score out of 13%, right? Because this is 13% of the exam, this rating now has gone up to 3%. And your overall readiness score has gone up to 3% ready for the entire exam. Now let's look at how these numbers change as we go through and change up the readiness percentage for each of these three bullet points under digital marketing proficiency. So we're going to give ourselves a rating for each one of these bullet points right here. So the second bullet point is recognize security best practices for data permissions and PII, right? So this is this bullet point right here. And we're going to go through, we're going to study everything inside of this specific section. We're going to learn that specific topic. We're going to learn more about it. We're going to take notes. And then we're gonna give ourselves a score of let's say 100% ready. So I'm gonna give myself 100% readiness score and you'll see that my score went from 3% to 8%. And my overall score went to 8% as well. Now let's just say I go through this third bullet point, describe marketing cloud product inventory and product offerings. Let's say I go through that and I go through each one of these specific um, lessons right here and go through and learn each one of these things. Just all I have to do is click on it and go and learn about it. Once I'm done with that, I can give myself, let's say I am 95% ready, and you'll see the score changed from 8% to 12%. So it'll change for you right then and there, and then the overall readiness score will also increase to 12%. 
Now, one thing I added in here down at the bottom of this specific section in each section it under um, the exam is I've given you the amount of time it should take you to complete each one of these specific um, sections. So for this entire section for digital marketing proficiency, it should take you about 14 hours if you're going at an extremely aggressive pace to finish every single thing right here. And then if you're going at a pretty aggressive pace, it should take you about 21 hours. If you're going kind of in between aggressive and slow, you're just kind of taking your time, it might take you 34 hours. And if you're going at a slow pace and you're just kind of seeing this whenever you see it, you're gonna taking about 48 hours to complete this. What I'm saying here is that every single lesson added up equals 14 hours. If you wanna take an aggressive approach but you don't wanna take that extremely aggressive approach, give yourself about 21 hours and you can finish this. If you're going a little bit slower, um, you're just kind of taking a couple hours a day, you might be at an intermediate pace and depending on how much time you can devote each day, it should take you about 48 hours if you're going kind of slow. So we have that same structure, that same formula for every single section on the Marketing Cloud Administrator certification. So for subscriber data management, we have these three bullet points and you'll see these three bullet points. Describe the contact model, right? Describe the contact model. Evaluate data quality, right? The next one is evaluate data quality. And then the third one is explain preference and profile center concepts. You'll see that one right here, explain pro preference and profile center concepts. So we have all of the exact content we need to go and study for that specific bullet point. And we just give ourselves a percentage. So I'm gonna go through and just give myself a percentage for each one of these lessons and just say this is where I'm at. And as you can see here, once I put a percentage in for this specific subscriber data management, I have uh, a, um, I have a score, a rating right here for subscriber data management. So I am going to go in and fix this. It is 18%. I'm going to put in 18% here. Actually, we actually do have the exact number we can put. So I'm just going to come in here and change this to 18 and we're good. So if I was to give myself a 100% on everything, the max score I could get is 18%. So as I'm going through, you saw I had 12% ready on the first one, which is good out of 13%. And then the second section, subscriber data management, 18%. I'm at 18%. So we just did 12 plus 18 equals 30% ready. So this green overall, how ready are you box here will give us the entire overall score that we have whenever we've added up all of our sections. So that's how that's calculated this second Section subscriber and data management should take you about five hours if you're going aggressive, extremely aggressive, all the way down to your slow pace here. And then setup, which is 38% of the exam, as you can see here, we have these four bullet points right here, and we have the four bullet points in the white boxes with the black text here. So I'm going to give myself a, let's say, 95%. I'm going to go through here. I'm going to go through that. I'm gonna give myself these percentages and you can see that my percentage readiness uh, for this specific section is 37% out of, we'll say 38 because that is what it is. And overall, you can see how ready you are for the exam. So it's giving you a readiness factor as you're going through each one of these. And we're gonna do the same thing and I'm gonna give myself a better score than that. I'm gonna give it 75 and then I'm gonna give a 100, and then I'm gonna give a 95 and a 70. And overall, I'm uh, out of, on this specific section, 16%. I'm gonna change this to 16%, and you'll see I'm 14% ready. And overall, I'm 81% ready for the exam. So I'm already ready to pass the exam, if I'm actually being honest with where I'm at right here. Um, in each one of these sections. Now, maintenance is the last section. You'll see we just went through channel management. We're going through maintenance, which is three bullet points, and you will see these three bullet points right here. So we're gonna go ahead and give ourselves this percentage for each one of these, and we are going to see where we're at. So out of, on this, 15%, you will see that we are at 
and 11%. And we're 91% ready overall. So you can see where you need to actually get better on specific areas of uh, the exam, so the specific sections. And then you'll see where you're at overall. Now down here at the very bottom, you will see the total time to complete this course. Overall, it's gonna take you 36 hours if you're going extremely aggressive, or 447 hours if you're going at a very, very slow pace. Now, all you need to do is divide this number divided by however many days per week you're going to be uh, preparing. So let's say 36 hours divided by five days a week. How many hours do you need to study if you want to give yourself five days a week? If you can only study for two days a week, 36 divided by two is 18. So it might take you 18 weeks to learn all this material if you're only studying two hours a day. So just divide this number on whichever pace you want to go on divided by the number of days you're going to study. So if you want to study 400, if you want to take the slow pace and you want to study um, seven days a week, uh, that's 447 divided by seven, and that's going to be 63 weeks, which is actually going to be divided by four weeks. Um, that's going to be 15 months. So uh, it's going to be about a year and three months if you're taking a very slow pace right there and you're studying seven days a week. But it'll give you the amount of hours you need to study, but this is a good baseline for you to understand how much time do you want to devote to the course, how fast do you want to get it done, and depending on how many days out of the week you have to study, that'll tell, tell you how many hours you need to study per day to actually make this happen at this specific pace. So... Um, Overall, how ready are you for the exam? We'll get that specific number given to you right here, and we will see whether or not we're ready for the certification. So that is the Marketing Cloud uh, Administrator Pacing Guide in the Marketing Cloud Career Development Program. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you got value from that. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you must be a part of the Marketing Cloud Career Development Program in order to use this. So go ahead and click the link in the description below to uh, join that program and get access to not only this, but tons, dozens, hundreds of um, Marketing Cloud instructional videos, uh, PDFs, templates like this, and, uh, and join the program and get access to this. Um, if you are a part of the Marketing Cloud Career Development Program and you're watching this specific video, you will see the link right here below and you can just access this if you're already in the course. So uh, for everybody that wants to get value out of this, you know where to go. It's in the Marketing Cloud Career Development Program. I hope you start using this. I hope you go through this video and watch it again just to see how to get the most out of it. And on your journey to getting the Marketing Cloud Administrator Cert, you can make your life way easier by using this. So hope you start using this. Let me know what sort of value you got out of using this pacing guide in the Facebook group, and I'll be happy to respond to that and uh, cheer you on as you get your Marketing Cloud Administrator cert. So that's all I've got. Kalen Moss, Minute Admin, out.